website. Okay. Um, we are. Uh, tell us more about your when when the date is and. Okay. Um, well, like I said, the auditions will be held next Monday and Tuesday, the ninth and tenth, mm-hmm. and the following Monday and Tuesday, the sixteenth and seventeenth. It's going to be at fifteen thirty three South Pulaski Road from six p.m. to nine p.m. And I'll be I will send you all that on the email. Wonderful, wonderful. We are looking forward, and we will definitely get that information out there for everyone to uh, want to be a part of it. And we want you to continue listening in to our radio station on a daily basis. So you can, because uh, we give away $1,000 cash. And uh, <laughs> if you want to be a big-time winner, continue listening to Smooth 90.5 FM, WGS, JBC Radio. This is the Rob G. Afternoon Drive Show, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have had a wonderful playwright by the name of Anita Jefferson. She is a native of Chicago. The name of her play is... Jackie's Secret Life. Jackie's Secret Life. And if you want to be a part of Jackie's Secret Life, you can contact Miss Anita at... 708-698-3798. Or you can email me at Jackie's... J-A-C-K-I-E-S, secret, S-E-C-R-E-T, life, L-I-F-E, at gmail.com. And if they wanted to contact you or by any other means, how can they contact you? Well, again, uh, my number is 708-698-3798. Or you can hit me up on my email, JackieSecretLife at gmail.com. Wonderful. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to blow up her phone line today. I want to hear from her tomorrow saying, you done had my phone line blow up. And I got to get a brand new Sprint phone, y'all. So I I, I, I want y'all to burn her Sprint phone up so she can go out and get a decent phone. <laughs> Tell my mother that you've been over here talking about her phone. Oh, 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 that's your mama. That's your mother's phone. I am at my mother's house. Yes. Oh, we'll put I am you... on her phone. I chose not to pick up the cell phone because I thought it would be in and out, in and out. Oh, and that's what I got. Yes. Well, well, that's not. She's good. retired. She's a retired nurse, so I'm not gonna bother her too much. How about I just buy her a new one? Yeah, you can go to uh, wirefly.com. <laughs> you, you, you can go to wirefly.com and get yourself a free cell phone, uh, free of charge, any kind of phone with no credit check and no money down. That's wirefly.com. You can go on wirefly.com, get yourself a brand new phone. Stay away from the cell phone stores and get yourself a brand new Samsung or iPhone or any <laughs> one of the new phones. I said wirefly.com. It's not a scam. It's not a joke. They'll show the phone to you with no money down, no credit check. They'll ship the phone to you to your front door by FedEx ground uh, within two days. That's wirefly.com, like a piece of wire and a fly that flies around all together. Wirefly.com. Please go and check it out if you want to get yourself a free phone and you won't be sounding jacked up when you're trying to talk to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to boast. I have nothing but love for it. You know I, I, I'm not trying to get on you, but you know, go to wirefly.com and uh, get yourself a brand new cell phone. Trust me, I've done it many times. Uh, you know, I, 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 it's about time for me. I have not stepped in a cell phone store only to go to the Apple store to get it checked out or get the glass fixed. I have never purchase a phone within the 10 years I've had these phones really? so I go to wirefly.com wirefly.com once again get yourself a free phone and you you just pick out your phone that you like your your, your plan choose your plan that you like um, and they'll ship the phone to you by FedEx ground uh, within two days, but you got to be at home because somebody will steal that phone off your front porch because they'll run and go. They'll drop that phone and go, but you got to be uh, up there on it. So, wirefly.com if you want to get yourself a free phone and if you want to get tickets to Miss Anita Jefferson's play, which is going to be held at the Harold Washington Cultural Center on 47th and King Drive. The date is July. Am I correct? Correct. 
Sunday, July 19th. July 19th. Maybe I'll do that as a birthday gift, you know, for myself. But <laughs> oh, I don't have a date. But anyway, once again, ladies and gentlemen, please support this playwright, Miss Anita, Miss Anita Jefferson. The name of her play is, again, Jackie. Secret Life. Jackie's Secret Life. And I'm going to ask you this question like I ask all other playwrights. If there was a TV, if there's a TV show out here right now that you are currently watching, what TV program is that that you feel would make it as a very good stage play? And why? Mm. And what what do you feel that will not make it as a good stage play? Oh, let's see. What will it? See, I've been mm. I've been giving a lot of playwrights a lot of ideas on, on current situations, but I don't think I'm going to get any credit for because y'all are probably going to scoot boot <laughs> and be like Tyler Perry and, and and sit up there on Wendy Williams show and everything and forget about little old Rob G. <laughs> we will not forget about you. Um, go ahead. It would probably be one of Tyler Perry's, and only because Why I Tyler still Perry? see I'm... him as thinking as a playwright no, no, when no, no, he's no, no, writing no. his scripts, like for the half and half not. I could see how that would have been a dramatization on a stage, and how that would have been able to be played out on a stage and keep the audience attention. Okay, how about this? Let me flip the script. A TV uh, program. Um, do you feel? I'm gonna say hey, the Brady Bunch, since okay. uh, since uh, Miss Carol Brady is in the news a lot right now with her 82 year old self, uh, cougar self. <laughs> um, do you feel that the Brady Bunch could be a stage play in a black well, version? You do know they had made the Brady Bunch a stage play in the uh, early 80s, more of like a musical, more okay. so than a stage play. Okay. So. Could the Brady Bunch be? Not really. It, it, not unless they did something for kids, because there's not enough drama in it. Not enough drama in it. Not enough drama. So let me. What, what kind of uh, stage uh, play do do you do? For mature audience, I would advise anyone not to bring their kids that's under the age of eighteen. Jackie does have a secret life. Okay, so your content is what? Mature audience. Your content is what? It is, um, I guess a rated R. Your content is pertaining to what? Sex and language. I mean, sex and, um, and, yeah, language. So you're a sex playwright. Pretty much. Oh, so you <laughs> There we go. We're, we're getting it out there. I'm pulling it out of you. You're a sex playwright. Okay. All right. So anybody over 21 has to be able to come to see Miss Jackie's play. All right. So I don't want to ask you in detail what it's all about because I don't want to spoil it. I want people to come and see the, I don't want to say the sex play. But well, no, because you, there will be no sex acts performed on the screen. It will be illusion of sex. Illusion of sex. Correct. You need to call me back tomorrow for the Fifty Shades of Grey show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna, when I send the tickets to you that you'll be sending off. I'm also gonna send you a copy of the book. Once you read the book, then you will really be able to understand who Jackie is and what she's about. Now, does Jackie have anything to do with you personally? No. <laughs> is Jackie a part of you? Each, it's not just about Jackie. It's Jackie and her friends. Jackie and her friends. It's five girls. Her, five, her girlfriends. Five girls. And I will tell you this. Uh -huh. When a person is writing, mentally, you become these people that you're writing about. That's the only way you could get the full effect of what that character is going through. Okay. okay. So every writer will, will tell you, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, uh, uh, street walker, church girl, each one of these people, when you're writing about these people, you'll literally become these people. 
from the day that the people are assigned their state's name, when they walk into the uh, facility for rehearsal, they are that person. You no longer call them by their given name. They're the person that's in the play. That helps to keep them in character with who they are. So no matter what's going on on the outside, when you come in here, you're somebody else. Okay. That life belongs to me for the next three hours of rehearsal. All right. So what are you looking for right now, men or women or children? Uh, No children. Uh, Basically, men. Okay. Uh, My three leading characters from last year have all gone on um, to work at something that's different. One of them is actually working behind the scenes on Empire. Another gentleman um, got involved in bodybuilding, and another one is training for the Olympics. So I was fortunate to have three very good, um, extremely sexy uh oh, see, there, there she go. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to go to wirefly.com and get yourself a phone. <laughs> see, there it is. Uh oh, uh oh. I will do that, so do not worry about that. <laughs> we want to thank you very much uh, for calling in. We appreciate it, and we're looking forward to talking with you again. And thank even, you. even Anytime. please, and please, we'd like for you to. Uh, continue listening to our show uh, on a daily basis and we even like to extend the open arms to you to come to our station here in the western suburbs of maywood illinois and uh, we would like to have you come out one day uh, when you have some, some time uh, to talk more about this wonderful day, uh, production i would love to do that especially once i've gathered the cast together Okay. And they could talk about their roles themselves and how they're feeling about it. Wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the wonderful and amazing young lady born and raised here in Chicago, all the way from Or High School. That's right. Who, oh, I don't want to give her a prop. No, I'm just kidding. I'll give you props anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All the way I from Or Ch- High School and Chicago State University. She's an author, she's a mother, she's a playwright. Ladies and gentlemen, give, your, give her a big round of applause, Miss Anita Jefferson. Well, we want to thank you very much, Miss Jefferson, for calling in. And we're looking forward to hearing from you real soon, real soon. So we're going to continue uh, keeping in contact with you. And Tiffany has sent all... Uh, necessary information to you and you. Um, like I said we are so happy to have you call in today and if it wasn't for Mr. Victor Gully a taste of Chicago I mean a taste of theater I'm saying Chicago <laughs> a taste of theater ladies and gentlemen if you want to be a part because this young lady has actually taken part in a taste of theater and that's how she met Mr. Shelley Garrett we actually had Mr. Shelley Garrett on our show, the godfather of playwright. Yeah. Um, wonderful gentleman, wonderful. And so if you have any questions and you want more information and you want to talk to Miss uh, Nita Jefferson on a one on one basis, she'll be glad to talk with you and give you some insights. And you can contact her uh, at 708 698 3798. That number is again 708. 708- Six nine eight three seven nine eight. You sound just like a phone operator from back in the sixties. You <laughs> <laughs> behave. <laughs> well, thank you very much again, and I look forward to. I've had a great time. You are my first caller of the day, a playwright. The time is twelve o two. The weather is cold today. Is February third. If you don't have your raincoat or your galoshes or anything, be prepared because. Uh, uh, they will be here for you. Um, now evidently, Miss uh, Jefferson is looking forward for you all to uh, take part and come see her play, which is July 19th. July 19th. So if you want more information, she'll be waiting by her phone, waiting by her email, waiting by to hear from you 
to be a part of our wonderful production. Thank you very much, Miss Jefferson. Thank you. And you have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Bye-bye. Smooth 90.5 FM, WGSJBC Radio.